What's up? This is Brandon Smilly from BrandonSmilly.com, bringing you another Q&A session. This is a question that I got over on my website at BrandonSmilly.com. I do accept questions over there. There's a little Q&A tab, um, and if you go down there, you can fill it out, ask a question, it bounces directly to me, and then we can correspond um, in private uh, about that question. Um, this is a question that was asked that they asked to stay anonymous rightfully so and um, I thought it would be a good question just to answer one off on one video no other questions involved um, and we'll get right to that basically I will put the question down below um, so you can see the whole question but basically the question came up was what are my thoughts on steroids and anabolic usage I'm going to assume first and foremost that this is for powerlifting um, concerning what I compete in, that's kind of more so what I'm known for, I guess, if, any, if I'm known for anything. Uh, I don't really think I'm that popular by any means, but um, so since we're going to go down that route, let me get some very quick things out of the way. First, let me regret to say that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, um, I'm not making any recommendations in terms of uh, dosages, usages. You understand that these opinions are mine and only mine, they do not represent the companies um, that I am affiliated with, so they strictly represent my thoughts and my opinions, um, and that you also understand that steroids and anabolics are illegal um, to use, at least in the United States, where I currently reside. Um, so now that all that is out of the way, and I can be a little more open, um, my I will say that my thought process is a little bit mixed. Um, I, I think there's uh, there's certain things I'm for, there's certain things I'm against, um, there's different ways that I can take this question, so I'm going to try to take them in a little bit different avenues and cover each one a little independently. Um, the first one is, what are my thoughts ethically? Well, it's technically illegal to use them, um, so by all means you can in interpret that however you want. Um, I will say though, however, there are many things that are illegal that many of us do on a daily basis um, and don't even realize it. Um, things like speeding, you know, not abiding to mo most traffic laws. Um, you know, we, um, there's, I don't, I can't speak for everybody, but when I'm in college, when I was in college, um, under 21 and had alcohol consumption, um, you know, nicotine usage under the age of 18. Um, illegal use of pharmaceuticals so you know I've taken a painkiller from my parents before to you know fall asleep or you know if I have my backs bother me that's not my prescription but I've used it so that's not technically illegal um, you know illegal distribution of, of goods um, you know not some people don't claim things on their taxes all those things are technically illegal people do them people somehow try to justify that oh well I'm not gonna get caught so it's okay well Drug usage could go the same way. You can use them and not get caught. Does that technically make it okay? Legally, no. That's your morals, your ethics, what you think about the opinion of the rule and whether you care to abide by it or not. So, with that said, um, I, I think uh, you've got to weigh that. Um, if you say that you think it's not right to use them because they're illegal, but you break any of those things that I just mentioned, you know, that kind of nullifies your argument because you do do things that are illegal, so that doesn't really make sense. Your 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 morals are kind of uh, a mix, so that's a bad argument to give to somebody else. Um, so I will leave that there, let you kind of ponder it, what you think. Um, I'm going to take this into, like, a sports performance route because there's a health route with, like... Uh, HRT, I think that's completely fine. It's technically legal to use it that way um, because it's prescribed by a doctor. You know, you're following your doctor's orders. Um, it's meant for you. There's been numerous things to show the health benefits of people that um, say have low testosterone levels, and you know they get their hormone replacement and they see much better improvements in their health and well-being and their attitude, and you know their blood lipid markers improve, and um, that that's great. That's good for the health of the human body to be able to do that. Now, in sports performance realm, um, 
my thoughts on it, I want to say that for powerlifting purposes, I think if you're going to use them, please don't try to compete in a drug-tested federation if you are knowingly using something. Um, to me, ethically, that's really bad. That just says a lot about you in, in terms of cut corners and, um, you know, you're you're trying to one-up people that are trying to compete in a way that they think is the most fair for them. Um, so if you if you do that, that's where I kind of have an issue with it. I don't care whether you opt to use them or don't use them. That's your opinion. That's your thoughts. You compete the way you want to compete, and it's your health um, that you're willing to jeopardize to be the athlete that you want to be. I can't tell you anything about that, and you can't tell me anything about that, because that's my views and your views. But with the drug-tested competition, I think it should be strictly that. I wish it was only that for those that want to do that, and then you have the non-drug-tested for those that don't care to compete tested, or for those that opt to use any kind of drugs or anabolics that they wish to use. However, I do know that you're always going to have people trying to one-up the competition to take records, to do things, cut corners. You can't test everybody financially. I understand that. Um, it, it will never happen. There's way to beat the tests. Um, that's just kind of the nature of athletics and competition. I mean, we see it in the Olympics. Um, there's people that get capped and busted every now and then. Um, so... I don't know, I guess that's just one way to look at it in terms of how they're tested. Um, so now my opinion on them, like I said, I don't really care what you opt to do. Um, I have competed both ways, I've competed drug tested and I've competed non-drug tested. I currently compete non-drug tested. Um, the way that I look at it is I want to compete a certain way against the best at the best places. Whatever it takes for me to do that is what I'm going to do. So, um, you know, I when I competed in NASA, because that's what was close to me, that's what was local, um, I was just trying to get my feet wet in the sport. That's what I competed in. You know, I, I knew I wasn't going to test positive. Um, I just wanted to get some numbers on the board and begin my career. That's what I did. And then I said, oh, well, I want to compete more with knee wraps, and I'd like to use a monolift and a deadlift bar and, you know, 24-hour weigh-ins and make my way to the Arnold. So I decided to go with an RPS meet, you know, and work my way that way to compete the way that I want at XPC Finals. The other way that I look at it is I wanted to compete against the best, and at the time that was the best platform to compete at the way that I like to compete. Yes, there was raw unity, I understand that, but from a fiscal standpoint, I thought the Arnold would be better. It's, for me, it's always been a dream to compete at the Arnold Sports Festival, and I was able to do that. Um, you know, will I go back to drug tested? Probably at some point, because then one of my next goals is to be able to go win Worlds. Um, will I do a drug tested or not drug tested? I don't know. I'll try to look and see what's the most competitive. Um, you know, I may cross over, depending on which ways um, the most competitive for me at the time. I'm kind of trying to chase the competition for the meets rather than really worry about, oh yeah, I'm going to go compete drug test because there's nobody over there and it's going to be fair. I don't care if the best person in the world uses the most drugs in the world. I want to go compete against them, point blank. Um, that's something for you to decide how you choose to compete. That's just the way that my, my competitive nature has always been. Um, you know, I, I, I want to be the best regardless what's what's on paper and what's not. I will say that this is just, again, my opinion, but I hate that, um, when people try to dis to shout to the rooftops on their Instagram and their their Twitters and, and whatever, the, you know, on the, you know, the 181 drug-free number three total USAPL blah 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 whatever, whatever you get my point they're narrowing it down to such a small window that almost everybody's the best at something um, to me the only thing that matters are the top to all the all-time top 20 rankings and, you know world records and big time meet titles I mean we're talking you know 
WPC Worlds, we're talking XPC Finals, um, we're talking um, IPF Worlds, you know, um, IPF Nationals. Um, there's some, there's some other big meets. Um, Dan Green's meets getting pretty big now. The LA Fit Expo's pretty solid. Raw Unity used to be up there, but it looks like that's kind of tanking a little bit um, from years past. Uh, there's still some good lifters on that lineup, no doubt, but I don't think it's near what it used to be a couple years ago. Um, so, you know, going to those big meets, I think, should be the goal and trying to, to get those as well because the overall competition is stiff. Um, that's As a competitor, if you want to be a top and competitor, that's what you've got to do. You know, you can't stick around in backyard meets trying to be the best. Um, go to the platforms and, and try to beat the best. Um, so that's why I'm trying to stay towards the bigger meets a little bit more now. Yes, you've got to do smaller meets to qualify to get to some. I understand that. But um, so that, that segment rolling from the... The testing, I, I think shouting out from the rooftops and trying to build your fame that way is ridiculous. You know, it looks nice that you are qualified from your drug-free status, but just because you are drug-free doesn't mean you're any better than the person that's not drug-free. You know, there, there are multiple ends on both sides that are very well educated, very strong, and it doesn't mean you're any better than them because you opted to not use something and someone did opt to use something. Um, now, you know, you also have to look at what else, you know, there's other things out there that are much worse than anabolic steroids that are out there. You know, there's heroin, cocaine, and meth, which I don't know why sometimes steroids is lumped up there with that. I think that's ridiculous, um, especially from like a, a distribution standpoint, usage standpoint. It's nothing like those, you know. Um, the amount of people that are physically losing their health due to steroids is drastically, drastically, drastically lower than any of those, even to alcohol and tobacco, which are both legal at certain ages. So, you know, there's, it goes both ways. It's in that little funny area of where, where they sit. Um, I, I just think that it's, it's a bit ridiculous. Um, there obviously are side effects. There's negative consequences. Yes, I understand that it's not natural, but I'm just saying there's many things that we put in our body every day that are not natural that could be just as harmful. There's plenty of over-the-counter medications and other things that are just that are just not meant to be in the body, but the, because we can buy them off the counter, we're saying they're okay. That's, that's not really true. Um, so looking across those three spectrums that I covered, I think at the end of the day, it really comes down to like, what, what do you think? You know, what do you want to do? How do you want to compete? What kind of platform do you want to be on? You know, that's how does it fit your lifestyle? Do you understand the consequences? You know, all those things have to be factored in. And if it is something you ought to do, fantastic, run with it. it but you better attempt to be one of the best if you're going to, because you're putting a a possibly negative thing into your life. <clears throat> that could end up, you know, hurting your lifestyle over powerlifting. And let's face it, you don't get paid for powerlifting. This isn't a, a money-making sport. So if you're going to do it, it has to be out of because you purely enjoy the hell out of the sport and you want to be the best and you're willing to do whatever it takes to be the best. Um, there's other people that are not willing to do that, and that's completely fine, and that's why there's different federations, different standards, different divisions. That's the good thing about powerlifting is we can compete how we want across a vast spectrum and be happy and compete against the people that have similar interests in us. So think all those things through. Be smart about your decisions. At the end of the day, my opinion really shouldn't mean shit, but it's, it's a very interesting topic to just even discuss or think about especially in powerlifting when there's no money to be had. <clears throat> you know, there's certainly sports where there's millions of dollars on the line. Then you've got to really kind of ask yourself some questions. You know, if if using some of those things are going to make you millions for the rest of your life, that, that kind of changes your thought process and your opinions to an extent because now you're going to have a very 
long-lasting life, you're set financially, you can have the things you want, you can provide for your family, you know, you can do something that you enjoy, you know, kind of trying to use football for an example. That's, that's a completely different realm than powerlifting, where it's a sport of pure enjoyment and no, not much profitability. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, my opinion doesn't really matter much. It's your opinion, what you think. If you're going to go that avenue, just make sure you talk to the right people. Talk to the people that have had the experience with it. Make sure it's a full commitment you want to do. You understand the health risks. You know, you get your blood work tested now, you know, and always get your blood work tested. Keep your health in mind. Um, you know, listen to your body. Understand the consequences of what you're doing long term and short term. Um, and at the end of the day, if you find out that makes you happy, fantastic. Go do it. I wish you the best of luck. And the other way, if you choose not to do it and still be competitive and still um, just use powerlifting as a hobby, absolutely, I support you in that direction as well. There's there's so many ways to take the sport that it doesn't matter, even if you're looking at gear um, and all of that as well. I think the bickering in the sport just needs to stop you compete how you want to compete. You worry about your PRs. You worry about your morals. Everything else will be fine. Um, and we can end the bickering and have more of a... a I don't know how I want to say this. A more unified sport from a support standpoint. I understand there's so many different ways to compete that really the sport's not going to truly be unified. But if we at least say, oh, that dude hit a strong lift regardless of drugs, gear meet federation time of year whatever it doesn't matter an 800 pound deadlift regardless is a huge freaking lift and let's congratulate it as such just as the first guy that's walking on the platform and hits a 10 pound pr congratulate that kid let him know he did an awesome job at his very first meet and that you know hopefully it's something he can build upon for the rest of his life to me that's what powerlifting is about it's not about the drugs it's not about the gear it's about having fun within a sport that you like competing at whether at the highest level or even at the most lowest recreational level again that's all i've got thanks for checking in if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section or if you want to do them privately you can ask them through my q a on my website the link is in the description box below hopefully we can end all this crap and remember it's just lifting weights